You need to take the Physics Admissions Test, also known as the PAT, if you are applying for any of the following Oxford courses. Physics, Physics and Philosophy, Engineering Science, or Material Science. The Physics Admissions Test is an online test delivered on behalf of Oxford University by Assessment Specialist Pearson View. This means you need to register for and book online to take your test at a Pearson View test centre. In 2025, there are separate registration and booking processes you need to follow to take your admissions test. Candidates will need to register for their test between the 18th of June and the 19th of September, 6pm BST via the Oxford Admissions Test Registration Portal. Registered candidates will be able to book their test appointment via Pearson View's booking system between the 18th of August and the 26th of September, 6pm BST. We strongly recommend you book as soon as possible as test centre places are allocated on a first come, first served basis. To book your test, you must have already started your UCAS application, as you will need your UCAS ID when you register. It is particularly important that you register early if you are requesting access arrangements, as this involves a few additional steps. You will be required to submit documented supporting evidence of eligibility from a medical or educational specialist and have your request and evidence approved by Oxford. Please watch our registering and booking for an Oxford admissions test video, which outlines the process. Or, if you require access arrangements, for example, extra time, then please watch our registering and booking for an Oxford admissions test with access arrangements video for more information. If you haven't yet registered and booked to take your test, pause this video and go now to the Oxford admissions test registration portal. In 2025, all candidates will take the PAT on either the 22nd of October or the 23rd of October. Our admissions tests aim to stretch the strongest applicants, so don't worry if you find the test hard. It's supposed to be. The past papers and other practice materials you can find on our website are really useful preparation. We know that applicants who practice tend to do better so we strongly recommend that you spend your time familiarising yourself with the test content, structure and format so you can feel confident and do your best on the day. We also advise that you familiarise yourself in advance with the test platform and explore all the functionality of the digital scientific calculator which you will be using when taking your test. So, let's now take a look at the PAT online practice test and explore the test platform. First, Read the instructions. You will see that the test is two hours long and that all candidates should attempt as many questions as they can. All questions are multiple choice and the marks available are indicated alongside. Please note that formula sheets, table and data books are not permitted. Candidates must use the digital scientific calculator included as part of the test platform. You will not be allowed to bring your own calculator into the exam. While on the test landing page, you can choose your preferred colour scheme from the drop down menu in the top right hand corner of your screen. You can change this again at any time during your test. To begin your test, click on the next button in the bottom right hand corner of the test screen. Question 1 will appear. Select your answer when ready and click on next in the bottom right hand corner to proceed through the test. You can navigate backwards and forwards through the test using the previous and next buttons. At the end and once on the review page, you will be able to go back to any question you want and amend your answer. You might want to scroll through all the questions before attempting any. This might help you decide which ones to tackle first or leave until later so you don't have to answer each question in order, but to maximise your score, you should try and attempt all of them before submitting your test. If you want to leave a question for later, you will see a flag for review option in the top right hand corner. By clicking on this, you can navigate back to this question at the end of your test. Don't worry if you don't use this option though. 
you'll still be able to review any answers again before submitting your test. If you decide to leave a question and return to it later, you might find it helpful to take note of its number. You will not be allowed rough paper in your test, but you will be provided with laminated sheets for note-taking and planning. You will need to hand these in after your test. In the top right-hand corner of your screen, you will see the time you have remaining. Immediately below is the number of the page you are on and the total number of pages in your test. Remember to always scroll down to the bottom of each page by using your mouse or the scroll feature on the screen to make sure you don't miss any bits of questions. In the top left-hand corner, you will find the calculator button. Pressing this button will open a digital scientific calculator, which you can use during the test. It is important that you are familiar with all functionality of the calculator, and it is encouraged that you take the time to practice using it. Clicking next after the final question will take you to the review screen. Here you can check that you have answered each question and navigate back to review your answers using the heading at the top of the table. You can select to review all questions or filter for just those which are incomplete. You will also see listed here any questions which you chose to flag for review. When you return to a question to review your answer, you will also see a review screen button in the left hand corner. The navigator button located at the bottom right of the screen is available throughout the test. On the review screen in the bottom left hand corner, you will also now see a submit test button. Once your answers are complete and you are ready to submit your test, click on this to finish. A warning pop-up will appear asking you to confirm whether or not you want to submit your answers. If you click yes, another one will appear to double check. Finally, once you have submitted your test, you should click on end exam and exit the test platform. Doing the online practice should help you feel confident about taking your test, but there are likely to be a few small differences between this and your actual test. 1. Non-disclosure agreement. After logging on to the test platform, you will be asked to agree not to share the contents of the test with anyone. If you do not agree to this, you will not be allowed to start your test. 2. Before starting your test, you will be given the option of a quick online tutorial on using the test platform and exploring the various functionality. If you don't want the tutorial, you can skip this and immediately progress to take your test. Whether or not you opt for the tutorial, your test duration will remain the same. The tutorial will not count towards the test duration. Have a go yourself at the PAT online practice test at ox.ac.uk forward slash PAT. But please note that you will not be able to submit your practice test for marking. For all information and guidance on Oxford's admissions tests, including tutors' top tips for success in your PAT, go to ox.ac.uk forward slash tests.